वेलकम टू द केमिस्ट्री क्लास टुडे आई एल डिस्कस सम इंपॉर्टेंट बोर्ड्स प्रॉब्लम ऑन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द डिस्कशन ऑफ द चैप्टर ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री ओके सो ऑल ऑफ यू हैव बुक एंड द प्रॉब्लम्स आर टेकन फ्रॉम योर बुक ओके some questions i i will also write here if you have any problem without hesitation you can contact me okay or if you have any doubt regarding this problem so first we will discuss the icse 2017 icse year 2017 so first problem is given that draw the structural formula for each of the following draw the structural formula for each of the following your first question is that 2 3 dimethyl butane 2 3 dimethyl butane so here what to do first we have to draw the structure okay of the what group that means but so but means how many carbon but means there are four carbon so you draw the four carbon atoms first then you give the numbering that is one this one is two this one is three this one is four then at two position and three position two methyl group is there so here you put one methyl group and here also you put one methyl group okay and the other valency of the carbon will be satisfied by hydrogen okay so here you write the hydrogen so this is the structure structural formula okay for each of the following here you must write the graphic formula showing the all bonds okay next one is diethyl ether diethyl ether so that means uh, ether means both side there will be the alkyl group one side ethyl is there and another side ethyl is there and that will be satisfied by hydrogen the valency of the tetra valency of the carbon will be satisfied by the hydrogen so this is the structure of diethyl ether next one is there propanoic acid propanoic acid so here the root word is the prop prop means three carbon atom 1 2 and 3 and there is oic acid that means it will be converted into carboxylic acid group and others carbon we have to add hydrogen to satisfy the tetra valency so definitely this will be the structure of propanoic acid so in this way we have to draw the structure in exam okay we will go to the next question of this year next question is given that identify the term identify the term or substance based on the description given below first one is given that hydrocarbon containing a triple bond used for welding purpose hydrocarbon 
containing a triple bond used for welding purposes all of we know that oxy acetylene flame by which you can prepare 2000 above 2000 degree centigrade and it can be used for cutting of metal and welding purpose so your answer will be the here identify the term or substance okay so you have to write here acetylene containing triple bond okay structure will be like this next question is given property by virtue of which the compound has the same molecular formula but different structural formula next question is property by virtue of which the compound has the same molecular formula same molecular formula but different structural formula Okay, so you have to write the term. Definitely, it will be the structural isomers. Structural isomers. Okay, this will be the answer of this compound uh, of this question. Next one is given the compound where the two alkyl groups are linked by CO group. The compound where two alkyl groups are linked by CO group. by CO group definitely it will be the ketone okay so your answer will be the ketone if there is two alkyl group both side of this carbonyl definitely it will be ketone if one side is hydrogen and other alkyl or both side hydrogen then it will be aldehyde group hope you can understand next is given Give a balanced chemical equation for each of the following. First one is given that preparation of ethane. Preparation of ethane from sodium. propionate okay so this is ch3 ch2 c double na and here you are giving that soda line naoh plus cao mixture then you are applying heat definitely there will be formation of c2h6 plus formation of sodium carbonate actually this will be decarboxylized to carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide will react with sodium hydroxide forming sodium carbonate and this will be your the desired equation okay next one is action of alcoholic KOH on bromoethane action of alcoholic 
KOH on bromoethyl okay CH3 CH2 BR here you have to write alcoholic KOH and heat definitely there will be elimination of HDR and you will get CH2 double bond CH2 and there will be formation of KBR plus H2 ok I think this one is balanced ok so in this year that means the 2017 total number came 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so every year uh, 9 to 10 marks is coming from this organic chemistry part ok and this year maximum reaction in the reduced syllabus are not there so you are very lucky ok so mainly there will be IPAC nomenclature there will be isomers some chemical reaction is there ok and their application and uses ok their physical and chemical properties these things you have to read properly so from discussion of one class you can easily understand what type of questions will come in your exam ok next we will discuss fill in the blanks type of questions ok came in the year I think 2016 fill in the blanks from the choices given me ok so fill in the blanks type of questions First one is given the compound formed. The compound formed <coughs> when ethene reacts with hydrogen. Each. So ethene means this one CH2 double bond CH2 and this is reacting with hydrogen in presence of nickel around 300 degree centigrade. Definitely you will get C2H6. There will be addition of hydrogen. Okay. So here your answer will be C2H6. Options are given here that methane, ethane, and propane. So definitely your answer will be the ethane. Okay. Next one is given. If the melting point, if the melting, oh sorry, if the molecular formula, if the molecular formula of an organic compound each C10H18, it is dash. Okay, options are given that alkane, alkene, alkyne and not a hydrocarbon. Okay, so here C10H18 is written. So what will be your answer? Generally, in case of alkane, the formula is CnH2n plus 2. Whether it is matching, no, it is not the alkane. This is alkane. This is not alkane and CN H2N is the alkene and if we put N is equal to 10 here we will get H20 this is also not alkene but CN H2N minus 2 is the alkyne ok so here if we put C is equal to N is equal to 10 you will get 2 into 10 20 minus 2 18 so definitely this is the formula of alkyne so, if the molecular formula of an organic compound is C10H18, it is alkyne. This will be the correct answer. Containing triple bond. Okay. Next question is given. Identify the substance. Underline an organic compound containing CHH functional group. Definitely it will be the carboxylic acid. Okay. 
कंटेनिंग सी डबल इज ऑर्गेनिक कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ऑर्गेनिक एसिड ओके और यू कैन टेल दैट लाइक मिथानोइक एसिड मिथानोइक एसिड प्रोपानोइक एसिड सो यू हैव टू टेल दैट दिस इज कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड नेक्स्ट वन इज गिवन राइट अ बैलेंस्ड इक्वेशन फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ मीथेन फ्रॉम द आयरो मीथेन दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज राइट ए बैलेंस्ड इक्वेशन फॉर preparation of methane from hydromethane so here basically we have to use zinc copper couple and hydrogen okay so here if we take ch3i and it will be reduced by hydrogen okay presence of zinc copper and there will be formation of ch4 plus h i reduction process okay next is the state one relevant observation for the reaction that addition of ethyl alcohol to acetic acid in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid so observation you have to write ethyl alcohol acetic acid in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid there will be formation of ester and observation you will be you will get a fruity smell of ester sweet smell of ester okay that will be your observation hope you can understand next one is given that write a balanced chemical equation for each of the following burning of ethane in plentiful supply of air so this is the ethane If there is plentiful supply of air, there will be formation of carbon dioxide gas plus water. Plus there will be formation of huge amount of heat. And here we have to put here two. Then here we have to put seven. If we put two here, then it will be four. And hydrogen will be here six. Now it is balanced. Next one is given action of water on calcium carbide. If you take calcium carbide and if you add water, definitely there will be formation of acetylene gas, HC triple bond CH. Plus there will be formation of calcium hydroxide. Now this thing you have to balance here. If you put two here, I think it is balanced. Next question is given that heating of ethanol at 170 degree centigrade in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. So here C2H5 which is the ethanol. And if you apply heat with concentrated sulfuric acid at the temperature one seventy degree centigrade, okay, definitely there will be dehydration, elimination of water. You will get C H two double bond C H two plus H two. This will be your desired equation. Next one is given that give the structural formula of each of the following. So some I P C name is there. And you have to draw the structure. This is very important. First one is given two methyl propane. Two methyl propane. So first you have to draw the word root propane at two position. This is one, two, and three. At two position there is one methyl group. So this we have to add hydrogen to satisfy the tetravalency of carbon atom. So this is the two methyl propane. Next one is given ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid means two carbon atom, one will be uh, C double H group and another carbon. Okay, containing three hydrogen. This is the structure of ethanoic acid. Next one is given butan two all. Butan two all. So butan means four carbon atom is there. So here we are giving number one, two, three, four. At two position there will be one OH group. So definitely this will be the structure of butan two all. Others will be satisfied by hydrogen. Hope you can understand.
Next, we will discuss that equation for the reaction when compound A is bubbled through bromine dissolved in carbon tetrachloride is follows. Okay. So, equation is given. That a compound is A and here we are giving bromine carbon tetrachloride. Then we will get CH2Br and CH2Br. The first question is draw the structure of A, definitely containing double bond. So structure of A will be CH2 double bond CH2. Next question is given, state your observation during the reaction. And this is the reddish brown color, okay. Reddish brown color, after addition of bromine to this double bond ethylene, we will get the this compound and the color will be discharged and you will get the colorless solution. So observation you have to write that the brown, reddish brown color of the bromine okay, will be discharged okay, because of addition of bromine in double bond. And this is also unsaturation test. Next one is given that fill in the blanks with choices given in brackets. Conversion of ethene to ethane is an example of definitely it will be hydrogen, hydrogenation, hydrogen addition. Next one is given that write a balanced chemical equation for the following preparation of ethanol from ethyl chloride. So if you have ethyl chloride and you have to prepare ethanol, definitely you have to give the aqueous theory solution. You apply heat, then there will be substitution reaction and you will get the ethanol and there will be formation of KCl. Okay. Next is identify the term of the substance of each of the following. The type of reaction alkenes, alkenes undergo. Alkenes means double bond is there, pi bond is there, definitely to the addition reaction. And the catalyst used in the conversion of ethane to ethane. Okay, from ethane means triple bond is there. There definitely you can use that hydrogen and nickel. So catalyst will be nickel here. Next one, some structures are given. You have to write their IPC name. First structure is this one. HCH double bond CH CH3. So here definitely we have to give the minimum number to the double bond 1, 2, 3 and here double bond is both side equivalent here we should not write that prop 1 in so you will write only propene. Okay. Next one is given CHHC triple bond CCH. Here position of triple bond is at the middle it can be at the left end and it may be right end okay so definitely there will be formation of isomer so here you have to mention the position of the triple bond so this one will be but 4 carbon is there but 2 ion or 2 but ion okay anything you can write but 2 ion or 2 but ion next one is given this one hch hch so definitely two carbon atom, okay. So it will be ethanol containing aldehyde. In this way, we have uh, completed the discussion of some board's questions. Hope you can understand. Still, if you have any question or any doubt, okay, then you can ask me. In your book, there are so many questions. Board question is there. Some special questions are there, okay, that you have to practice. And answers are also given. There may be some wrong answer. If you have any problem, okay, if you have any doubt, then you can ask me without any hesitations. Okay, you can ask me through your school query button, okay, or send uh, questions to WhatsApp or through my email ID. So, today up to this and next day we will start a new chapter. Okay, uh, we can start metallurgy, otherwise uh, that is the electrolysis part. Okay. So, Today up to this, thank you.